involved with. It was a human white blood cell, and it was, it may even be mine, I don't remember. It was a living cell, and what was this aha moment was looking at it and seeing, wow, this guy knows that there's something strange in its environment and knows to go after it. And one of the jobs of white blood cells is to be able to detect what's not self and get rid of it if it's dangerous. So these are blood cell, red cells from a, a sheep. So that was like, oh, these are pretty amazing. Uh, we're pretty amazing. At that time, I didn't really recognize that we're really a cellular, a cellular universe like we are, like in the book. At the beginning, 70s, probably 72 or something. Next slide. And so when I started photographing chemicals through the microscope, they were much more beautiful than cells, especially when you're looking at cancer cells and leukemia cells all the time. So it was an awe-inspiring, great experience. Vitamin B12, it's, re it's, it's re natural color is red. The photographs are taken through what's called an interference microscope, which has filters, basic prisms, and the prisms break the light into color. And so the color, I could tell I was shining blue on the background, and then the material refracts the light when it can, the color. So B12, for anybody in sac into interested in sacred geometry here? So B12 is made up of pentagons. Next, next slide. Whoa. Selenium, a mineral that pro helps prolong life, a very powerful antioxidant. Next. Zinc, another mineral important to, uh, essential to the immune system. Our cells need zinc to make uh, antibodies. This molecule is creatine phosphate, if you need to know its name. It's what stores energy in our muscles, in our cells. Which one is that? Creatine phosphate or phosphocreatine, it goes by two names. DNA. Almost see, I make out it's three strands. So you could see why I was in this light show, who wants to study cells when you could get lost in some of this beauty. Next slide. Uh, rose petal. And I think there might be one or two more. Oh. So I'm photographing the chemicals of life. I'm giving these images, slideshows to kids just to occupy their time while they're waiting for the chemotherapy. But then I really started looking at patterns of molecules, if you will, and how things work. So this is a molecule that's sweet. It's rounded. Most many of the sweet molecules are rounded. This is table sugar. Mm. It looks like feathers. Mm -hmm. I saw that too. Next. Mm. Sour. So sour molecules are much more angular. It, it, again, once you're into it, 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 probably your intuition is. This is malic acid. Malic acid is from unripe apples, grapes, any kind of unripe fruit. Any idea if this is a taste? Sweet, sour, savory, bitter? Spicy? Any? Bitter. Bitter? Caffeine. <laughs> it does what it looks. So things look like what they do, if you think that way. <laughs> Some of us may. Once upon a time, a long time ago, I was not an astrologer, and just a little aside, that is in the book. The book has some colored prints in it. Uh, a friend had asked me to photograph minerals related to astrology, and I said, there is no such thing as astrology, and that minerals have any correspondence. Anyway, I got the physician also who wanted me to do this. Get me the pure minerals, I will photograph them because I was showing slides to kids. So for any of you who are, and, and what happened out of this journey was I took, you know, many pictures. I had, I saw four shapes in 12 signs of the zodiac. 
And as a, somebody who categorizes everything, I had to say, well, where is four in astrology? I mean, it was curious. I expected 12 different shapes for 12 salts. And the four were round, square, squiggly, and hexagons. The water sign, so where we are today, is Cancer, Sun, it's almost Cancer, but we just passed Cancer. This is the Cancer salt, the mineral salt related to Cancer, according to astrology. And the, light, the fire signs were all hexagons. That's probably another book. But it's, there is a color centerfold in, the, in this book that has this. Next one. And this is Capricorn, so Earth, Earth mineral realm. And for me, that opened up one of the most stressful um, experiences. Because here, I'm one, a non-believer in astrology, and two, I've uncovered what I was saying, I still would say now, wouldn't say it out loud to too many people then, almost a hidden language in the minerals attributed to signs of the zodiac hundreds of years ago, taken with a tool of technology. How did these ancients give Capricorn cal this mineral calcium phosphate? That someday we'll do a, a whole thing on that. But it, it made me start questioning, and this is a long time ago, it made me start questioning, do people have the ability, did the ancients, did our ancestors have the ability to really see inside? Did they know where, this, where does occult language come from? Where does the hidden information come from? I also ask, where does imagery come from? For any of you who do imagery with people. So, next slide. And just for the sort of final roundup of this, because I was doing all this photography of molecules, a friend set me up with an appointment up at Sterling Vineyards, again, a long time ago, 40 years ago. Sterling Vineyards at the time had an artist in residence program. And I figured I better photograph for the interview my first one. First wine, the winemaker said, it looks like it tasted. So the book out there, Wine, Sin, Beauty, there aren't too many copies left, uh, goes into a lot of what we can see in wine, but I thought I'd give you a taste. <laughs> so that's a Merlot, I should ask you what flavor it is. It's a, it's a Merlot, a four-year-old Sterling Merlot. Okay, let's, I think the next, okay, so now to talk, that's enough about me. Let's talk about the cells. So I think, let me see what the next slide is. Okay, we can, I'm gonna read. 